Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face trending list, published on November 9th, 2025, about three days ago. It presents a tiny 1.5 billion parameter model that for about seven dollars $800 of training surpasses the 400 times larger DeepSeq R1 on AIME24, AIME25, and HMMT25 with scores 80.3, 74.4, and 50.4. The paper is titled, Tiny Model, Big Logic, Diversity-Driven Optimization Elicits Large Model Reasoning Ability in Vibe Thinker 1.5b. And as we will see later, the implications for training efficiency and reasoning quality are remarkable. Also, the authors shared a GitHub repo. You'll find links to the released 1.5b weights, a clear quick start with transformers, plus VLLM or SG Lang tips, evaluation scripts for math and code with usage guides, sample outputs, and the technical report PDF. There's straightforward inference code and recommended generation settings. On Hugging Face, grab VibeThinker 1.5 billion weights, Transformer BF16 checkpoints, and GGUF 3 to 16 bit quantizations, plus simple Python usage with Transformers, VLLM, or SGLang sampling settings. All right. Figure 1 shows that the tiny 1.5 billion model leads the field on AIME 2024 with a score near 80, which signals strong math reasoning. The top left panel reports that advantage clearly. The top right panel highlights AIME 2025, where the model reaches about 74. The bottom left panel shows HMMT 2025 at roughly 50. The bottom right panel covers live code bench V5 with a score near 56, competitive against much larger systems. Well, figure two shows a size versus score plot where the 1.5 billion model sits near a higher efficiency curve, meaning strong accuracy with far fewer parameters. The chart places AIME 2025 on the vertical axis and total parameters on the horizontal axis, so points higher and left signal better efficiency. The Vibe Thinker dot lands around 74 on AIME 2025, ahead of many much larger systems. A green efficiency frontier, which indicates better accuracy per parameter, arcs across the plot, and proprietary giants cluster at the far right. All right. Figure 3 presents the end-to-end training pipeline that turns a base model into vibe thinker by first expanding diversity, then extracting the right answers. This figure shows the spectrum phase on the left, which uses domain-aware diversity probing and expert model fusion to maximize pass at K. The right side shows the signal phase with math and code reinforcement learning guided by maximum entropy which means it prioritizes problems where success is about 50%, because uncertainty teaches most. The flow depicts diversity first, signal second, so reinforcement learning has richer candidates to amplify. Figure 3 just mapped the training flow that expands diversity, then amplifies signal. Table 1 shows that post-training costs, meaning the fine-tuning after pre-training, differ by orders of magnitude across systems. The 1.5 billion vibe thinker reaches an AIME 25 score near 74. It does this with roughly 3.9 thousand GPU hours on H800 cards. Compared with Minimax M1 and DeepSeq R1, the bill is about $7.8 thousand dollars, while theirs climbs far higher. So Table 2 compares core benchmarks across compact reasoning models and places the Vibe Thinker 1.5b system at the top. It reaches about 80 on AIME 2024. On AIME 2025, the score sits near 74, which keeps it ahead of other sub-3 billion systems. HMMT 2025 lands around 50, showing strong contest math because that set stresses multi-step reasoning. Live code Bench V6 comes in near 51. GPQA Diamond is about 47, which assesses graduate-level science questions across biology, physics, and chemistry. Wrapping up, two takeaways stand out. Deliberate diversity first training plus maximum entropy reinforcement learning lets a 1.5 billion model reach big model reasoning and it does so at about $7,800, beating far larger systems on tough math and holding its own in code. The broader implication is clear. Efficiency-centric methods can democratize advanced reasoning by slashing compute and cost. That is it for this episode of the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.